honorable mentions. It's an honorable mentions section. Wally. I think it's one of my mom's favorite movies because I have seen it quite a few times and we have the DVD. I do remember thinking it was very good. And I mean, I don't have a cartoon on my favorites. And that cartoon? Animated? Animated. It's a good movie. 27 Dresses, I think is my favorite of rom-coms. If, if I had one, because I don't really. I'm always down for a good rom-com. They're not what I would usually pick to be watching by myself. Um, the Imitation Game. It would probably be closer to being on my list if 1917 and The Theory of Everything didn't exist. Because it is very good, but I felt like there was something off. And it might be because the true story of it is kind of heinous and shouldn't have happened, but it also is a really good movie that I never felt the need to go back and watch, and watching it was an experience in and of itself because I was super excited. I recently, on Netflix, watched Suffragette. Everyone should watch that, especially right now. It's just, it's historical and informative, and actually not everyone because it is a little bit emotionally draining. A little bit, a lot of it. Um, Hugo. And Bombshell, Hedy Lamar. It's a documentary. It's good. It's on Netflix. Yeah. I guess those last few were pretty much, hey, if you need things to watch, tangent, we're gonna just go, because as you know, when you have a DVD of something, you watch it on repeat until it falls apart. I, did anyone else, did, did you do that? Did I, that's, I'm probably, that's just me. But I just forgot that it happened, and I think it's on Netflix now. And there's like a love story if you like that. Love story, but not exclusively a love story. Got all the- I'm finding most of the movies that I like kind of have a smattering of multiple genres and it's not just like one plot. Interesting to know. And there's like quite a bit of war. Love and war. War and peace. Uh, this is actually, I think, the only movie well, 1917 also doesn't really have a romantic plot, but for two very different reasons. This doesn't have a romantic plot, and 1917 doesn't have a romantic plot. I don't think I like romance movies, but I, I guess most of the movies that I like have romance in them. Sure, 